Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel, Red Elevator. Spring is here, summer is upon us, and we're gonna look at how to style your outdoor space. Follow me. One of the biggest pain points in interior design that I have found over the years is that people will have difficulty designing their outdoor spaces. And they often do not know how to choose furniture, where to go. And so we're gonna talk a little bit about that today because I could talk about it for hours and we just don't have the time to do that. So I'm gonna cherry pick the pieces of furniture that I think are looking quite good this season that you could purchase and incorporate into your Home. So I wanted to show you a home that really inspired me for what I believe will be this season of interior, shall we say, exterior design. So this home is very eclectic. What I love about it is the fact that it has these minimal trees that are very sparse and you can definitely put these in planters. Now this is an outdoor indoor space to a certain degree, but it just inspired me and there's nothing per se about the space that you could actually purchase or do, but it just evoked a sense of how I would want my exterior to look this summer or the kind of vibe I would love to achieve this summer. And I'm gonna talk about how to get this look and how to perhaps do it without breaking the bank. Before I dive in deep, I wanted to thank you guys for booking our one-on-one -on -one Zoom calls. They've been really wonderful because I've gotten to meet some of you face-to-face. -face. So if you guys need a 15 minute consultation, half an hour, one hour, whatever it may be, Click the description link below that will allow you to book a meeting with me and I can help you with any of your design dilemmas. It's really quick and really easy and I would just love to be able to help you in whatever capacity that you may need. First set of furniture, outdoor furniture that I wanted to focus on is by Crate and Barrel. These pieces are on point with our inspiration. We are bringing in a lot of these cream colors that are timeless. And in my opinion, I have white sofas outside and honestly, they, ha they are still white and I'm shocked. And the reason they are is that most of these fabrics are Sunbrella. So if you buy Sunbrella fabric in a light color and vacuum them, now here's the caveat, you have got to vacuum your sofas. We vacuum them once a week. That might be a little exaggerated. So if you're able to vacuum at least once every 10 days, believe it or not, they will look great outdoors. So the first inspiration image that um, I showed you right now, this is from Crate and Barrel. It's called the Bat and Teak Outdoor Set. I want to say something about teak. Teak tends to look amazing the day that it arrives and hell about six months into the ownership of your teak furniture. However, I have been to homes of clients of mine that have taken very good care of their teak and their teak actually looks great. However, you must oil them, you must clean them. One of the reasons they get dirty most often is the fact that they haven't been washed with soap. It's soap that they need and a lot of people don't know that. So if you have Dawn and a sponge and a brush and you can wash them, I would say once every two months, then your teak will look great. So this outdoor set is in line with our inspo. I really love how low to the ground it is. I like the fact that they have a, um, what it looks like a concrete table in the middle because you don't want to have everything to be teak. You want to mix it up with different materials. It's rounded, the sofas are, you know, they have these really gorgeous slats. And that to me is very elevated. It's what's happening and in the high-end interior design world that's being mimicked for Crate and Barrel, which by the way, Crate and Barrel quality is really, really good. I absolutely approve it. They're made by known vendors that I'm actually familiar with. So I have no issue buying from Crate and Barrel. I suggest that if you like something from Crate and Barrel to go ahead and purchase it. Now, if you are afraid of teak and don't wanna worry and bother cleaning your furniture, on a regular basis. I've got the absolute best furniture that looks like teak, but isn't teak, is well-priced. I've sourced it for a client. It's been at her home and it still looks gorgeous a year later without having cleaned it once. So make sure you stay to the very end because I'm gonna share that info with you. So I wanted to mention something really important. We sourced some of the best plants out there from this gorgeous nursery by the name of Plant Daddy 
and Berber Imports, which are these beautiful showrooms that have some of the best architectural trees that I've seen, along with some of the most beautiful vessels that I've seen. There's gonna be a whole YouTube about that. So I wanna make sure that you guys subscribe now so you don't forget, you're alerted that that is coming up because I was floored. And as an interior designer, it's hard for any of us to get floored these days because we've seen it all. But the selection of planters and the selection of plants that I saw being displayed at these showrooms were so incredible, so amazing, that I just don't want you guys to miss it. So make sure and subscribe. Make sure you're watching TikTok and Instagram because we do take you along the journey behind the scenes and it's always really fun and interesting to watch. And guess what? We're going to install my very own first indoor plant because I kill everything. And we're gonna learn how to take care of it. So make sure that you don't miss out. The next thing I wanted to share with you, I almost had a heart attack of happiness, if there is such a thing. The Kamada travertine table, side table, this striped travertine thing, OMG. If I didn't already have side tables, I would be buying these. First of all, travertine is travertine. So whether you buy it from CB2 in this case, or whether you go to one of the most expensive showrooms at the Pacific Design Center and spend you know, $10,000 on this table, it's the exact same thing. So you're getting value for your money. I love CB2. You guys know how much I love CB2. I'm obsessed with CB2. And I'm gonna be taking you to one of their new concept stores because they invited me. I'm so excited but that's gonna be later on. Okay, the next thing that is paired with these travertine tables are my new favorite thing. And these are the fully upholstered sofas that are popping up everywhere. And they are for the exterior of the home. They look like indoor, so indoor, they look like indoor sofas, but they're exterior sofas and they're fully upholstered to the floor. So chic, I just can't get over how beautiful they are. The Sonia, especially from CB2, is really beautiful. And guess what? Since I know some of you guys don't have endless budgets, I mean, nobody does, I'm also going to share the dupe of these. So if you don't have a few thousand dollars to burn, you may actually get this look from Wayfair. And I found one from Wayfair that I thought was equally beautiful and less expensive. The one that I'm recommending from Wayfair, I haven't actually sat in it myself, so I can't give you the full 100% stamp of approval because I haven't seen it, but boy, do I trust Wayfair because they'll take anything back that is faulty or that you don't like. So you can buy it with confidence and it's called the Sinkler three-piece outdoor sofa. I think it looks great and is a very good replacement for the CD2. The next thing I really wanted to talk about was neoclassical furniture and the comeback of iron. Iron came in the 90s and now it's sort of trickled away but now it's back and it's back with a vengeance and it really is timeless as you guys know i really believe in classical architecture i don't believe in things that are too trendy but every once in a while you can bring in little sprinkles of it you always want to adhere to the 70 30 rule which is 70 percent classic 30 percent a little bit of whimsy 30 percent you can definitely update and get rid of but 70 percent you want to keep firmly classic so this new set, it's actually not new. I did suggest it to a client approximately a year ago and I loved it then and I love it now. And it's actually a dupe, believe it or not, of a very fancy company by the name of Genu et Compagnie. And Genu et Compagnie is very expensive. I mean, when I say expensive, it's like tens of thousands, but there is a dupe, which is still slightly expensive, but definitely worth checking out and it is called the Avery Collection, and they have it on Horchow, and it looks so good. Look at this photo of this sectional. I usually don't even like sectionals, but this sectional I think is really beautiful. I love how there's greenery on, you know, obviously in this beautiful garden. I love the fact that they've got this Avery neoclassical sectional. I love the pebble coffee table. I love the round concrete decorative balls. I mean, there's nothing about this photo that I don't love. And if you can recreate this, whether it be with the actual Avery furniture or something that's similar to it, then you're on your way to having a beautiful, timeless garden look. I know the next thing you're going to say, well, how do I find these pieces? No, I am here to tell you that I'm doing the hard work for you guys because I love you so much. So everything's gonna be linked in the description section below. 
So just sit back, relax, watch, and then later you can peruse through all of the links. So we can talk about outdoor furniture and not tap into chaise longues because that is one of the basics of outdoor furniture. This is where you're going to lie by the poolside and this is where you're gonna tan or read under an umbrella. And so chaise longues are very difficult to purchase because they're often very unattractive, in my opinion, until recently. And I wanted to introduce you to something that I found on Wayfair by the name of the Donny. This is priced really well, which is great. I worry about the longevity of it because the price is almost too good to be true. So if you're okay with, you know, taking a risk, these are, I believe, 700 for two, and they look great. Look at, they can also go completely flat, so they can serve as sofas if you're having an entertainment, if you're entertaining outside. They can be laid completely flat or they can be used as chaise longs with the back in the upper position. I'm gonna need these. I will have to purchase these. So this is a line of furniture from Rove Concepts. Rove Concepts, by the way, I have had luck with. I have been to their showroom. I like the quality and their outdoor chairs this season are to die for. I just want them in my life. What are they called? They're called the Jericho Sling Chair. What I love about them is the bolster headrest, so chic. I put in a client house something very similar that was hundreds of, almost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm exaggerating. Uh, this was uh, in a beautiful home in Beverly Hills and we put something very similar from a very high-end outdoor manufacturer and it literally looked like this. So when I saw this and I saw the price, I thought this is too good to be true. So it might be, I don't know. All I can tell you is these chairs will make any patio, outdoor living space, home garden, loggia, veranda, whatever you wanna call it, look beautiful. You can just get a pair if you want. You can throw in a little side table that's made of an entirely different material, maybe a little concrete side table, and really create that very elevated look. As promised, I'm gonna share my deep, deep, dark secret, which is the teak dupe, meaning that it looks like teak, but you don't have to treat it. You don't have to do anything and it looks gorgeous the year after. I only have one year of experience with this, but that is long enough because let me tell you, these looked incredible and they lasted throughout winter. They didn't change color. They looked wonderful. And it's the Segovia by World Market. So if you guys like the teak look without the teak care, I highly recommend that you look at the Segovia at the World Market. I found these to look heavy. They were heavy, actually. I saw them, sat in them, sourced them. They were great and they look great today. So if you are at a complete loss and you need a direct recommendation of something that is going to work for you and that's going to look expensive without the price tag, definitely consider the Segovia. I wanna know which of these pieces you are considering purchasing or that you liked. Was it the Avery, the Segovia? I wanna know. So make sure and sound off below. Let me know what other content you guys are interested in seeing considering summer's coming up. Do we wanna do a deeper dive into outdoor furniture? Do we wanna talk barbecues, barbecue stations? how to style them, how to throw an outdoor dinner party. Whatever your heart desires, I'm here to serve. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode of The Red Elevator, and we will see you again next Sunday.